Welcome. Drag down a map onto the timeline, then search and apply the glow light effect from the effects menu to enhance its appearance as shown. Further go to text title, add a video track, then add a default text to the timeline and go to advance. I typed the underscore symbol 20 times, centered it slightly, then went to the outline color on the right to change it to black. I adjusted the blur to 10 and the thickness to five. After that, I scrolled down to the shapes section and selected the third option. Then I adjusted the line on the map from the starting point to the end point as shown. Now go to animation under in animation, scroll down to select erase animation, then go up to adjust its duration to four seconds and apply. Then preview. Next, move back the text two frames backward or 0.0 zen seconds, then go to the map to extend to match the duration as shown. Further go to media, add a video track, then drag down a GPS from pixabay.com, then extend its duration to match and go up to scale down to 40. I also move the playhead forward for clear visibility. After scaling it down to 40, go to the screen to adjust the GPS to the beginning of the line animation carefully as shown. Now go to animation under presets, Select Zoom in Animation, then go to the timeline to reduce the second keyframe point to two frames or to match the starting point of the line text as shown. Next, move the playhead to four seconds where the line animation ends. Drag the GPS icon down again, resize it to match, and scale it down to 40. Position the GPS near the end of the line text on the screen, then apply the zoom in animation. Adjust the second keyframe to two frames on the timeline, then preview. Lastly, go to text title to add a default text to the timeline Extend to match, then click to advance. I typed in the text, reduced its size, selected a preset text style, changed the font, and moved the text to the starting point. Then I applied the boom animation as shown. Now go to the top left corner to insert and type another text, then move to the end point of the line animation as shown. Now reduce the text to four seconds exactly because that where the line animation ends. Further go to animation to apply boom animation as shown then preview if necessary. Now, apply the changes, preview the timeline, and you're done. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. The template link for this tutorial is in the description. Stay tuned for part three of this map series. Thanks for watching and have a great day.